I'm going to run five AI models in under five minutes, all on this tiny board Raspberry Pi. That's right, five AI models, five minutes, one Raspberry Pi. And trust me, the last AI model is the most fun. So stick around till the end. We are skipping the Raspberry Pi OS setup because I have already made a separate video on that. You can find the same in the description below. All the installation commands you see here are also linked in the description. Since we have only five minutes, so let's jump straight in. So let's start with something most people think it's impossible, running a language model or LLM locally on a Raspberry Pi. LLMs are the kinds of AI models behind tools like ChatGPT. And they usually need powerful GPUs or cloud servers. But thanks to a tool called Olama, we can now run a tiny version of one right here on the Pi. To install, let's start with update and upgrade commands, then the command to install Olama, and finally command to run tiny llama. I asked it to write a short story. It isn't perfect, but decent enough, given we are running this on a Pi. So what about the performance? It's about 5.8 tokens per second. Sure, that's way slower than something like an RTX 3090, but for a Pi, that's pretty impressive. I also tried DeepSeq Coda 1.3 billion parameter model, which is a small code model. For this, we have to still use the same commando llama run, and instead of tiny llama, we have to use DeepSeq Coda 1.3b. And it was able to successfully generate a Python function to add two variables. So yes, you can even build a local AI assistant on your Pi to answer questions or help you write simple tasks. Next up, let's give our Pi some eyes. I set up a real-time object detection model using TensorFlow Lite and a webcam, and it runs entirely on the Pi 4. The model I'm using is SSD Mobile Net, which is optimized for speed for low-power devices. To install, we will run the following commands as shown on the screen. And again, everything is in the description. With a simple Python script, I was able to detect and classify objects in real time. Like you can see, it shows me here as a person, all with the bounding boxes drawn right on the camera feed. You can use this for smart security, wildlife monitoring, and even a DIY smart doorbell. And it will run on a Pi with no additional hardware. Now let's make our Pi listen and understand our voice completely offline. I used whisper.cpp, a lightweight C++ implementation of OpenAI's Whisper model, built to run on local CPUs like the Raspberry Pi. To install this, we will again run some bunch of installation commands as shown on the screen. To demo this, I wrote a Python script to record 5 seconds of audio, pass it through Whisper, and print the transcription. I am a data architect. I am building a demo video on artificial intelligence. And just like that, you have got a private offline voice assistant. Great for smart home commands or transcription tools, all without needing internet. Okay, it can listen, but can it talk back? Let's add voice to the Pi with TTS, which is text to speech. I use the TTS library, which supports a range of pre-trained voices. To install, you just need to pip install TTS and that's it. I wrote a simple Python script to test it out. Hello, from Raspberry Pi. Once the model loads, it's fast, responsive, and sounds great. I am excited about this video. As you can see, whatever text I type gets spoken out clearly. With this, you can make reading assistant or audio alerts fully offline. Now for the most fun part. Let's bring in some computer vision magic with MediaPipe. MediaPipe has a built-in face mesh model that detects 468 facial landmarks in real time. And yes, even this works on a Raspberry Pi. Installation is pretty straightforward. You just need to pip install two main libraries, MediaPipe and OpenCV. At this point, you probably know what's coming. Yes, I wrote yet another Python script. This code uses MediaPipe's face mesh and it creates a real-time 3D mesh of 468 facial landmarks, mapped directly to your face using just a webcam. And of course, I did what any sane person with a Raspberry Pi and too much coffee would do. I try turning myself into an Iron Man, or Hulk, depending on my mood. It runs surprisingly well, and you can use this to build AR mirrors, virtual filters, cosplay effects, or even smart camera apps, all offline, all on a Raspberry Pi. And that's it, 5 AI models under 5 minutes on a Raspberry Pi. From language model and computer vision, to voice, speech, and even superhero filters, you have just seen what this little board is capable of. All the installation commands and model links are in the description, so if you want to try any of these, it's all in there. And if you got stuck somewhere, feel free to drop in a comment. I'll be making separate videos for all of these models, from detailed setup guides, to be building some cool applications. So if you find this video interesting, keep a lookout for those videos as well. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next build.